said she got weak. I'm vlogging too. It says Best Buy. I don't know what it could be. What's up, guys? Back with another video. Uh, oh, it actually focused. I didn't think it was going to focus. Let me turn this around up. I, I'm repping Superman. That's my favorite superhero. Uh, but back to what I was saying. So, I haven't done a Dread video in a while. And I've never done a Dread update video. So, I felt like doing one. Uh, Dread update. So, I'm going to tell you guys. Let me pull up a calendar real quick. If I'm not wrong, it was 2014. Let me pull up right here. So my family was about to go on vacation. So it was December of 2014. December of 2014, right here. I'm not sure exactly what day it was, but it was in December. So I'm going to count every single month. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 33 months. 33 divided by 12. 2.75 years. So I don't know why I broke it down to decimal points, but almost three years. 2.75 years. And my hair is short. My hair, one, grows slow, two, it's super coarse, meaning that it's super curly, and it's going to keep going in that coil motion in a circle, rather than going straight out. Like, if my hair was not in dreads, and it was straightened, it would probably go down to here. Well, probably right here, to be realistic, if it was straightened out. Uh, this is the longest my hair's ever been in my lifetime. Even though in the 8th grade, I did have an afro. And every now and then, I would like comb it out as much as I could. And it would be... It looked exactly like this, except, you know, a hair form. So I could, I could bang it down. It would... You know. Alright, so I have been recording some questions that people ask me. Comments or in person. So I'm going to answer a few of those. So every time I do an update, I'm going to do some uh, Q&A questions, answers, all that good stuff. So let me check those out. Let me put you guys back real quick. All right, there we go. So I just had to uh, send my notes to myself. Okay, but I, I, sent, I sent my notes. These are all Q&A questions that, oh shoot. That I'm just going to answer every now and then. I'll probably do like a segment at the end of each Dread video and answer a few. So if you guys ever got questions, just drop them down in the comments and I'll get to them. First, um, pros and cons. That's what I had up there since like the beginning of this list. Pros, girls like them. Girls like Dreads. Some girls like Dreads. Uh... I, I mean, who's going to say that's not a pro? Um, another pro is, this is what I love the most. Whenever I go to parties, banging your dreads is like the best film in the world. I mean, if you got long hair and it's straight and you could just bang it in the club and the party. Well, I can't go to clubs. High school parties, you know, you could bang your hair when the music, you know, when you feel it. Let me plug my phone up. Uh, a con. I haven't had this problem in a while, but if your hair is, if your scalp is dry or you got too much stuff in it, too much, um, I don't know, grease, uh, oils, too much oils in it or too dry, it will get itchy. It will get really itchy, especially when you sweat. It's going to get, it's going to get itchy. Just letting y'all know, just warning y'all, don't let it get too dry, don't put too much stuff in it. I realize that the more stuff you put in it, the faster it will dry up. So, if, you're, if your scalp gets used to having a whole bunch of oils in it, like you go a week without putting something in it, or you wash your hair and you don't put anything back in it, 
you know, it's going to start itching, your scalp's going to dry up, you might get dandruff, and you do not want dandruff stuck in your hair, especially if your hair is as skinny as mine, because if y'all can't see, my hair is really, real skinny. So if you got dandruff in there or you got too much stuff, you could get a buildup, you got dirt, dandruff, dirt, grease, just all built up. I think they call that uh, dread cheese or like dread ooze. You don't want that because it just looks bad. It looks trashy. That's why people trash um, dreadheads because they think, oh, he's dirty. Uh, you know, he got a whole bunch of stuff in his head. And then that's where the stereotype comes from, where people don't wipe people with dreads because it's not clean. Obviously, that's a lie. Like, you can't see any dirt. I can't, I can't see it right now. It's the top of my head. I've never really been able to see the top of my head. But if I got something in there, let me know in the comments because I can't see it. I know on the sides, I haven't gotten a lineup in a while. I usually do my own lineup. But, yeah, I don't see any dirt because I keep it clean. I think I'm getting off topic, but that's a con. It will get itchy if you don't keep it clean, you don't keep it right, you put too much stuff in it, or you let it get too dirty. Would I ever freeform? Me, no. Uh, I am very picky. Um, a lot of people say I'm, um, what is the word? Uh, I'm OCD. I like stuff particular. Uh, so. Right now, I'm in the process of letting it grow out because I've had a lot of thinning. That explains my last video where I said I cut out a lot of my dreads. I don't know if you all can see it in the back. I did cut a, lot, cut a lot of my dreads off because they were thinning and I didn't want to deal with it. Plus, I just, I don't really like hair in the back of my neck. It feels weird. So I just wanted to line up back there. Same with the sides, uh, people are saying I should get um, a high top. I mean, I want one, I wanted one, but you know, my hair is already long. I mean, my longest ones are right here on the side. This is, this is probably the you know, longest one right here. I don't want to cut it just because I want a high top fade. Why would I do that? What was the question? Oh. Freeform. So back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I haven't twisted them in probably two and a half months. It's been it's been like two months since I uh, twisted them, and that sort of gives you guys uh, a sense of how slow my hair grows. This was like the day when I was like, you know what, I'm gonna stop messing with it. That's how much growth I've had since then. So, I'm just going to let it, you know, not thin out. I don't want it to thin out, so I'm probably going to wait another month or so before I get in a retwist. And I'll show you guys that after I get the retwist. Dyeing my hair. I was thinking about dyeing it again.